creepy truck driving through our campsite. Creepy truck. There's definitely a body in there. Yeah. That's creepy, dude. Hey filmmakers, today we're going to take a behind the scenes look at a recent short film we shot, Mr. Cuddles, from the Andy X Short Film Challenge. I'm going to break down how we lit it, how we shot it, and everything like that. So I hope you learned something from this behind the scenes look that you can use on a future project yourself. The minimum requirements for it were that you had two characters and you had to have a teddy bear as a main prop. Once I had the script all written up, it was time to start pre-lighting and really determining how this thing was gonna look. Lighting a tent is a lot more difficult to do than you think because it's not like you have walls and things like that. You can see right through most tents if you have lights shining on them. So I set it up in my living room and then I started playing with the light. For this, I used my ETC Source 4 light which is 750 watts. I decided to put it behind our characters and use it as a backlight. And of course I wanted it to look like moonlight. So I put double CTB on there so it came off really nice and cool and blue like you often see moonlight in films. Pre-lighting is so essential because when I got on set, I already knew exactly where I was going to put all my lights and how everything was going to look and I knew that it was already going to look pretty good. Otherwise, I would have wasted so much time on set, maybe a few hours, just experimenting until I got the lighting looking right. The camera we used for the whole shoot was my Sony A7S and I had it running into an Atomos Ninja V and then also into an Atomos Shogun. So that allowed us to record in full 4K 422 HQ, the best quality that I can get out of the A7S. Once we were set up inside the studio and I was looking at that back window, I noticed that it just didn't look quite right. I really wanted to match it to the environment. So we threw some fake plants in the background of the window to really help break up that window, add some texture and make it look a little bit more like we're in the middle of the desert. So I already knew that I wanted a nice warm lamp in there. So I grabbed my LED light that I actually take with me camping, but it's a cool daylight balance LED. So I actually just grabbed some CTB, cut out that gel, and then just taped it around the lantern. I grabbed another small LED light panel, put it on a C stand, and had it booming through the tent, coming down over the top, and just actually shining pretty much straight down. For our wide angle shot, we used the Rokinon Cine DS 24 millimeter lens, and we're shooting at about f2.8. And we used all Rokodons for this shoot so that they would match up perfectly because they have the same colors and coatings and everything like that. So they don't look different when you're using all different brands and types of lenses throughout your shoot. Inside the tent, we also shot close-ups of each of the characters. So we switched over to the Rokinon 50 millimeter lens and picked up all those shots. I want you to get the impression that like you are a bad A and you're like, dude, what the freak? But then you roll over and you got this. Yeah. And you're like, oh, like it's this tiny little freaking unicorn. And oh, it's like, what the freak? Now to capture all the audio for this, we had my friend Caleb running the boom and also shooting all the behind the scenes footage you see in this. So huge thanks to him. Now the microphone that we were using was the Rode NTG2. And I think it sounded really nice too. Yo, 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 check, 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 yeah. mic check. We ran the microphone directly into the Sumo because it just saves so much time in post-production if you don't have to do all that audio syncing. So in the middle of shooting, we ran into a little hiccup and my V-mount battery had kind of slipped off the plate so my camera turned off. All of my settings were completely messed up and I didn't realize what had happened. Just something changed. Why isn't it sharp at all? Yeah, I don't know. See what I'm saying? Like, it's like really bad. Something's going on. Is it recording in 4K? Yeah, it should be. It's at 1080. That's why. It doesn't look as sharp. It's always a fun and interesting learning experience when you're on set and you figure out how to overcome these like strange things that are just boggling your mind because you're just trying to keep going, 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 and you're not realizing like, oh my gosh, it's so simple. Like the camera's just out of 4K now. Like all of a sudden the settings are off. Let's talk about the night exterior now. I knew that I wanted a nice establishing shot because I felt like if we just started in the tent right off, you wouldn't get a good feel for that. Hey, these guys are out in the middle of the desert camping. It would have just felt kind of claustrophobic. So even though it's only a few seconds long, it's maybe five seconds long total. It adds so much to the production value of this to have that exterior shot. Got the camping scene all set up. 
Just the boys, the tent, got our fire. Little LED panel set to 3200 Kelvin. Match the warmth. Creepy truck driving through our campsite. Creepy truck. Well, they are definitely coming out here to hurt. Oh, yeah. They got and a then, body in the back truck. There's definitely a body in there. Yeah. That's creepy, dude. <laughs> and then uh, we got the fat DNO LED light panel. This thing is blasting so much light. Giving us our moonlight. Put a one CTB blue gel on there to make our moonlight and backlighter characters. For me, filmmaking is all about getting out there, shooting, learning, editing, making stuff, keep on filming and doing creative things because you're gonna get better and learn so much more. And if you guys wanna learn how to light and shoot better videos, hit subscribe right now. I have a ton more videos coming out on shooting, editing, lighting, all that kind of stuff. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Pull it out and kind of like hold, pause with it for a few seconds so the audience can see it a little longer. Copy. Alright. Oh. Man. That AC feels uh, nice out here in the desert. <laughs> <laughs>